And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well before we do get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Guys, in today's video, as always, we are going to be going over all the latest Liverpool news from the last 24 hours, that includes the massive transfer U-turn, yes, a very, very interesting one for you today, uh, but first I just want to start by paying tribute, if you like, uh, as it was on this day in 2005, where Liverpool defeated all the odds and managed to create one of the most unforgettable nights in Istanbul as Liverpool came from 3-0 down to win the Champions League final. Now, there is many, many moments, of course, being a Liverpool fan, you do get a lot of these moments um, that you can savour. Uh, but this, for me, obviously, just due to my age, uh, when you're a child watching football, this was the one uh, that really, really stuck with me for the, for the rest of my life and will always be the most unforgettable moment, uh, being a Liverpool supporter. And that got me thinking. I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of people might Age that share that thought um, that is probably the most unforgettable night and the greatest night supporting Liverpool uh, but what's yours let me know what you think down in the comment section below what's your most unforgettable night supporting Liverpool unforgettable time supporting Liverpool uh, best moment unforgettable moment let me know down there in the comment section below now, following this, guys, um, we do have uh, a bit of news with regards to Liverpool's recruitment. Yes, after it emerged that Liverpool are advertising for a set-piece coach to add to Arne Slot's staff, two more positions have been posted via LinkedIn. With Jurgen Klopp's resignation followed by an exodus of the manager's first-team staff, it is a summer of upheaval at the XA Training Centre. That will include the appointment of a specialist set-piece coach, with the club advertising for a new role to support the arriving slot with Klopp's assistant, Peter Krevitz it's previously filling that duty. Liverpool have continued their recruitment drive with two more job adverts as they aim to appoint new strength and conditioning coach along with a first team physio. The arrival of another strength and conditioning coach comes as a part of a revamp of the fitness department with Dr. Andreas Schulmerberg and Andreas Kornmeier among those to depart. Schulmerberg held the position of head of recovery and performance and Kornmeier served as head of fitness and conditioning. The club's job description explains that a successful candidate would operate under the management of the head of physical performance. Slot is expected to bring at least three coaches with him from Feyenoord, with one of those being Ruben Peters, who held the role of head of performance with the Dutch club and could replicate that at Liverpool. Meanwhile, the search for a new physio could suggest that there are more changes to the department that are currently being reported. Liverpool count Lee Nobes as head of physiotherapy, while Chris Morgan and Steve Lilly are first team physios and Joe Lewis as a general physio. Whether any of those figures will leave the club this summer remains to be seen, but it's clear that Liverpool are looking to overhaul their structure off of the pitch. Part of that could dictated by the arrival of Slot, who has been commended for his approach to maintaining the fitness of his players at Feyenoord. Um, yeah, I don't know why we find that very, very weird. Um, of course, uh, Liverpool advertising on LinkedIn. I know it's kind of normal, but I suppose it just makes us all kind of laugh uh, that they are advertising on there. Look, I don't know. It's perfectly normal, but it just makes me laugh. And I make supporters laugh as well. I've seen it on uh, social media fans um, kind of <laughs> uh, laughing the fact that Liverpool are advertising jobs on LinkedIn. But look, we are, of course, looking to recruit. So if you, uh, any of the viewers, guys, are in that sort of position in that field, uh, go for it. Why not apply? Uh, try and get a dream job. Why not? Anyway, guys, moving on to today's main subject of the video. Look, it is the transfer window. And there is going to be a lot of upheaval with the staff, as we already know. But there's also going to be a lot of incomings and outgoings this summer. Now, in the early stages of the transfer window, again, there's some sources that we listen to. The main sources, credible ones. Uh, Paul Joyce being number one. David Ornstein probably being number two. Fabrizio Romano being up there with number three, four. Uh, those are the kind of sources we try and stay aligned with in the summer transfer window to keep us on the straight and narrow. And that's kind of who I bring my information from um, and other sort of sources uh, that they get their information from from overseas. But in the early parts uh, leading up to the transfer window, there was a lot of reports stating that Joe Gomez would intend to leave and that there's a report stating that uh, Joe Gomez was looking to seek a new challenge and looking to leave the football club this summer in the search for first team football. Joe has been um, a good servant and probably the long-standing player. I think he's one of the more senior players at the football club at this moment in time. Um, of course, I think it was there when Jurgen Klopp arrived. He's been here for absolute ages and of course has had troubles along the way with regard 
regards to injuries and all these kind of things. And last season played a real pivotal part, um, just being the utility player, playing a lot in left back, playing a lot in centre back, playing a lot in central defensive midfield, and and was a key component to this team. But as stated, reports as we lead up to the summer, reports from Saudi Arabia stating that they do want to make a move for him. Reports from Joe Gomez's camp stating that he wants to seek a new challenge. He wants to go and be the first name on the sort of team sheet uh, for a side play week in and week out. However, Gomez appears to have eased any worries of a potential summer transfer with his latest comments that emphasise his commitment to Liverpool in a massive U-turn ahead of the summer transfer window. At just 27 years old, Gomez has already been at Liverpool for nine seasons and his stay on Merseyside is set to continue, judging by his latest comments. Upon receiving the embodiment of Liverpool FC Award of 2024 from the Anfield Rap, Gomez spoke touchingly about the club and its supporters. He said, speaking to some of the boys that have moved on and emphasising how good of a place this is, because I guess sometimes having something to compare it to helps as well. I'm just grateful to be here. Long may it continue. With a contract that runs until 2027, Gomez is already the longest serving player at Liverpool and is, un- is the only squad member to have featured under any coach other than Jurgen Klopp at Liverpool. He's enjoyed some fairy tale moments since arriving in 2015 and his relationship with the fans has grown over the last decade. We say it so much and I don't ever want it to lose its touch, but the supporters here are something else, the defender added. Being here, this is really helps me realise what we're blessed with and how fortunate we are to have these supporters that we do. I think it's not just in the moments when we win things and so on, but it's just so the whole war and the energy that they give us. I think it just means a lot to be a part of this, this culture, this club and what it means. I think for people from the outside looking in, they're probably envious of what we have here. And being here this many years, it's only grown on me over time, making me realise how special it is to be here. A man who clearly loves playing for Liverpool and gives all his all every single time, steps on the pitch. It'll be some let off when he scores his first goal. So, yeah, never scored a goal. He's been here for, for a very, very long time. But as stated, guys, um, reports were coming from David Ornstein and co that Joe Gomez could leave um, this summer and that he was kind of seeking maybe a new challenge. But after recent comments, it does look he is making a giant U-turn and is going to be staying put at Ar- on Anfield. Look, this could obviously maybe change in the summer, depending on what offers there on the table, if there is any offers on the table for the player. Uh, but at this moment in time, Joe Gomez looks like he is going to be staying put at Liverpool Football Club. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on that one down there in the comment section below. Remember to let me know your most unforgettable moment of being a Liverpool supporter. Also down there in the comment section below. Guys, that brings us to the end of today's video. As always, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and remember to check out our clothing store, copbikeclothing.com. Link is down there in the description. Uh, um, or as stated, go to callbackclevin.com. Thank you guys, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Peace.